Hi guys, welcome back to another Go Karts and Cars. Today we're gonna to be installing the reservoir expansion tank in the BMW X5. Now I don't know how mine's messed up, but like it was just leaking everywhere, just spilling stuff everywhere. So look, today in this video, we're gonna to get to it. Also, before you do that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you always know when I post another one. We're gonna come back to back with these videos. Hey, stay tuned, enjoy the video. All right, so first thing first, we're gonna get this out of the way. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. You're gonna go ahead and take these two. So once you get this loosened off, next thing you wanna do is get this. And this has a little clip right here at the top. It's a little, it's a little clip. You just put a screwdriver in there and you pull it up. Once you get it all the way up, you just wiggle it out. Sometimes you can put a little screwdriver and pry it, but as you see, guys, it's got water in there. It's picked up. So, what we're going to do, we're going to pry it up, pry it off, and then turn it right up. And put it to the side. I do, I just tuck mine right here, like that. You tuck it like that, and you're good to go. All right, now what you will want to do, on the coolant reservoir, the expansion tank. You will want to remove this bolt and you will want to remove that bolt as well. All right, guys, so the next thing you want to do is get this piece down here off. All right, guys, finally got it out. It took me a little bit of time. So you got a clip right there at the top. Like I showed y'all earlier, just a little. The same way that clip is at the top is the same way this clip is right here at the bottom. Now, hold this one real quick, babe. Okay. Turn down here. Now, this part right here is your sensor part. You just, a, at the bottom of it, you just pry it, pull it out. And on this, it's just like the top. So what you wanna do, it's like a little ring. You just put a little pick in there, you pull the ring up, and you pull it down, and you're good to go. All right, y'all, so I found out what was wrong with it. It's a crack right there. Now, looking at it right now, it don't look like it's that that bad. But as soon as this thing get underneath some pressure, it's just spinning out all of my coolant everywhere, all over my engine. All right, so, and here is the new one. As you see, it goes right back in the same exact way. Just put that little, see you down there. Put a little piece right there, down there. You just connect that back on. You hook your sensor up also at the bottom. Next thing we have to do now, is take this hose right here and hook it back up right here. All right guys, when it comes back to installing, it's just simply doing everything in reverse. You hook up. The bottom piece that look just like this, hook that up at the bottom, you just slide it just simply you push it on and you push that pin down. Now what I like to do is to give it a tug and make sure it fits and snaps right in. You're gonna do that at the bottom with this little piece and the sensor. Put this one back at the top, the same as that way, just push in, push the pin down, check it, make sure it's snapped in. You do the two bolts, one on this side, one on the back side, and now you're good to go ahead and bleed out the air. Now the way I bleed out the air, I like to top it off, let it turn on the car, let it run, get all the air bubbles out, turn it back off, fill it back up again, and then I continue to keep doing that process over and over again for a couple of minutes, couple of times. Hey, if you like the video so far, hey, please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell because we coming back to back with these videos. Man, look, guys, on the next video, I mean, should I show you guys? I think I'm gonna show you guys. Next video, next video, right? We're going to be installing a new aftermarket radio, touch screen, uh, display, all of that. So let me show you guys. I see. All right. There it is. We got the big 12.3 inch. Came with the harness, everything needed. It's just a quick plug and play. Man, can't wait to get that in there. So make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe, and keep tuning in because we're going to have more coming. You know you want to see that. 
Say, let's get back to it. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and fill it up, tie it straight to the top, just before it overflows. We don't want it to overflow just enough to let it sit in there, let it run through this wire, this uh, that line, and get everything flowing. Right the mats, right into the top. Still got a little bit left over. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna close the cat, let it run a little bit so it can work through, and then I'm gonna release it, open it back up, let some of the air out. And we're gonna do that a couple of times to like burp it. All right, now I've got the car running, I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit. And what I'm gonna just do is just slowly, you know, just open it up. I'm gonna try to let some of that air that may be built up in there Easiest way out. Alright, everything is framed. It's working its way through. Put it back on there. Like that. And what that's going to do, that's just going to let all the air out. Alright, so tell you this all we want. Alright guys, there you have it. That is the way that you install and remove, or remove and install, however you say it. That is the way you can fix your expansion tape in an E70 BMW. Now this is pretty similar to most BMWs. It's probably the current, pretty much the same process for each one of them. You always going to have your sensor and you always going to have your two lines that's going to go to that expansion tape and from that expansion. Oh yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe of course and hit that notification bell. Let's get it. See y'all in the next one. Peace.